Hello, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and I have a new camera. Can you tell? It's a little nicer than my previous camera. This is my previous camera. Little Cisco flipbook thing. They don't or flip video, flip to something like that. They don't actually make these anymore and they're, they're perfectly good. I mean, I'll, t I'll take this little guy outside with me when I do outside videos because this is actually sort of like a webcam thing. But this camera here is in uh, 1000... 920 by 1080 resolution. So it's really, really high resolution, which is really, really good. But I have important announcements to make, really, really important announcements. First off, um, I just got a hold of a B Research Gamma Spectacular. It's a little tiny multi channel spectrum analyzer for people who want to do gamma spectroscopy, but they don't want to spend like billions of dollars. So, I'm going to uh, uh, finish learning how to use it, which I've just about done, and then I'm going to show you how to use it and how to uh, sample all kinds of things. I'm going to use my probe I've been wanting to use for a while, my RIP47 thin crystal cesium iodide thallium dope probe. See? A little cap on it. This thing's mostly for x-rays. It goes down to 8 kiloelectron volts. Amazing! But anyway, of course, I'm going to also use my other scintillation probes, too, like my radiation sensors, um, uh, S, what is it, an SD, SDA 38? Well, anyway, it's a 38.1 millimeter sodium iodide thallium dope probe. So all of that's going to be amazing, and I'll show you how to do all of that. And I'll have my polymaster and my spectrum techniques, UCS 30, and all those other things involved as well. Because, well, there you go. But I have a nicer camera now, so stay tuned. I'm getting ready to make videos and so on. Oh, and also my problem with the single uh, sound on one side, I think, should be fixed because this camera has two uh, uh, microphones on it, too. I'm also going to start a series of little short videos. The videos will be uh, six minutes long, but they'll have two minutes for three topics each. And the reason is because people ask me all the time, like, what's a black hole, and, um, you know, how fast does the universe expand, and what the heck's momentum, and, you know, why does fire do what it does, and that sort of thing. And it occurs to me, these little quick two-minute videos would be really, really useful for people. Just think about it. Two quick minutes, just what you want to know. I think it would be kind of interesting, explaining the, you know, expansion of the universe, evolution, all sorts of fun stuff like that. So uh, there you go. And uh, let me give you just a quick sneak peek of the uh, 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 Gamma Spectacular, Gamma, uh, um, gamma uh, uh, Multi-Channel Spectrum Analyzer that I have right here. And I'm going to do this tomorrow when I'm awake and I haven't just gotten off of work. So I just got off work and oh my god, I'm so tired, I can pass out. Okay, computer science is, is fun and everything until you do it for a living. And then all of a sudden, yeah. I should make some videos talking about computer science where I actually don't have to say that I'm not an expert, I'm an amateur. I can actually say, you know what, I am an expert, haha, -ha, but you know, whatever, I'll get to that later. So anyway, uh, I'll leave you with this little bit. All right, so here we go. This is the little um, teaser, because I'm hoping maybe tomorrow or the next day to actually have the real video. But I have this little guy here, the Gamma Spectacular from B Research. It's GammaSpectacular.com. Look at this little thing. It weighs like nothing. It's awesome. And it's connected to my really nice probe. And I have a European 152 sample. And you know how you can see right here, there's European 152. So, this thing is amazing. It's running off of my laptop battery power. Oh my god, that means I can just take this wherever I want to. Don't get me wrong. There are features that my Polymaster has that this doesn't. There are features that my UCS30 has that this doesn't. But there are features that this has that they don't. So you see, each one of these tools is useful for different things. But this one has two amazing usefulnesses. Uses? Usefulnesses? Well, two use uses. Trust me, tomorrow I'll do a better video. Um, number one being is that it doesn't cost anywhere near as much as they do. Oh my god, it's cheaper. And second off, if nothing more, I think my most favorite thing of all is I can hear the gamma energies. Low photon energies, high photons. Low pitch sound, high pitch sound, listen. Can you hear it? That's your Opium 152. Let's put Cobalt 60 in front of it.
Get a sudden higher pitch. Let's restart it. Sound? I'm also going to use a lot of lead when I show you how this works too. The lead will make this look a lot cleaner. And I'm also working on understanding the settings right this moment. <laughs> Watch this. Listen. And last but not least, let's go with some good old Cesium 137. Everyone likes Cesium 137. And now I'll, I'll quickly switch out probes and show you the other probe. And then that'll be the end of my teaser. Because it's just a teaser, right? Alright. Stop. We're going to cut the power off. We're going to unplug the good probe. Alright, good probe, you can go over there. Now we're going to take, I shouldn't call it the good probe, because that then suggests like maybe this is a bad probe or something. There's nothing wrong with this probe at all. We're going to plug this up. Is that the right one? Yep, that's the right side, right direction. <laughs> and I've already got my probes tangled up. I have a lot of cables going on here. All right, and we're going to take this end and plug it onto here. There we go. Put that right there. That'll be good. Stick this right here. Now this probe is going to look different. Cut it on. 850 volts. And slowly it's going to form itself into the spectrum. I probably have to go in and do some modifications to get this correct. But that's okay, we're still kind of learning. Still kind of learning. Anyway, this has been Tom from anti-proton.com with the uh, Gamma Spectacular first look. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>